Hello friends, good day. In today's video, I will be showing you how to install Microtik router in VMware Workstation Pro 16. So please stay tuned and watch straight below to see how that is being done. So starting first, I will have I have my virtual machine um, here. You can see the version of which I'm running right now is a version um, 16, 16 Pro. That is the version I'm running at the very moment. So I don't have I don't have any Microtik router installed here. So first thing that I have to do is this. So if you don't have this uh, VMware workstation here, you can just go in and install it. So here first, we have to go in and first of all, but Microtik router, how do we achieve that? You have to open your uh, Google Chrome, then you have to go in and search for Microtik router. Then when you go into, or you type Microtik, when you go to Microtik, uh, you go to their official website, Microtik official website. Then we have the Microtik official website. Then you have to go in there. That is Microtik.com. Now when you go into Microtik uh, official website, the next thing you will have to go in that you can see we are there now. So we have to go to software and see that we are in the software page. So we have to locate. Um, we have to locate these are the uh, routers that we have you can see the router ios so we can screw down and locate where we have where we have cd image look at it this roll of cd image so this is where we are going to locate so here we can select uh, these are the stable section that is this stable colon that is where we are going to be so we're going to look for it and that is second that is second so click here you just have to download it to start downloading straight away you can see folder so already, you can see at the download folder i have my microtik router there look at it here so make sure that it's you you know the location where it is stored machine, i have to create a new virtual machine by clicking here so i have to go to the custom uh customer environment that's where uh, custom advanced so click next select workstation system pro click next so i will want to run i will install the operating system later click next i'm not installing microsoft windows or linux or virtual asi or I'm only starting orders because the one I wanted to install is not listed here. I go down and quickly click orders. Next, I have to name these orders with my microtic microtic router. Next, so I can allocate. It's not much. So click next. I can leave this to this or I can extend it to. So 512 megabytes, click next. I can leave it at NAT. I will set it later. Click next, recommended. Click next, click next, click next. I can allocate how many gig? 8 gig for it because it doesn't have consume much. Click next. So this, click next. And guys, I'm done creating the virtual machine. So what next I'm going to be doing right now, I have to click and go and edit the virtual machine settings by going down to the CD, you can see CD slice DVD section, I have to detect the iOS image and I will browse where the iOS ISO image is located. That is at the download section, remember we are with the location we are, we downloaded it to. So look at my microtic router here. I click it and then so open so I have already is there now so I can now say okay so next I have to do is just to go in here and power it up and then I'll power it up 
so you can see it's coming for the first time it's loading for the first time so i have to wait for it to load so here you can see that we are in there next thing i will do is to i will click what i click a when you are installing for the first time you have to install all this all this uh, alongside so i'm going to install it by clicking what by selecting pressing a in the keyboard to select all everything in here when after doing that i will equally press i to continue the, the installation i press i to ask me do you want to keep old configuration do i have any old configuration so i say no i don't want to keep it so yes i want to continue so it's now formatting the partition so after formatting the partition is to start reading and installing all the things which i have already clicked now you can see that it have all installed all these things that i've already clicked on i selected during the information uh, installation so next thing i have to do what i have to click any key to rebuild the system now that i've already clicked that the next thing it will just book up it will just reload and uh, boot where yeah, i have to enter the credentials to login okay let's wait for it at this very moment you can see that it has already um finished the installation and it has prompt us to to put in our credentials to login so i will use the default uh, username reverse login which is admin next and the password is nothing so i'll leave it there then it said do you want to see the software license i'll say yes you can see this is the license if i want to, if i don't want to see it anymore i can click the q to abort it and click i'm in there so at this very moment right now i will go in and install i will download the, the wing box So click on this. You can click to download Winbox. You can look at this. This is Winbox. I will download if your system is um, if your system is big 64 bits, you can download if your system is 32 bits, you can download. You know, you can find out that my system here, I'm using what 64 bits. I'm using 64 bit there. So I'll just click to download it click to download it already i have it in my system so no need of downloading it i'll just click here and open it click here to open it so when i have done that you can see the the mac address it have already detected that i have a microtic real wrapper in here but there is no um ip address uh, there is no ip address it but it uses the mac address to detect the the system so I'm going to use the MAC address to log in. Remember that we have the uh, admin section is to uh, admin. The login section is admin. Then they, they have no password. So I will click connect. So it have logged me in. So I'm inside the Microtik uh, router interface. So here now you can see under this interface, I have just one interface. Can you see? have just one interface now if i want i can come in and to my virtual machine i can come into my virtual machine i can go in here and turn it off i can turn it off can turn guest off then i can now go in and edit it to add more to add um, to add a network adapter I see add Astra network adapter I say yes I added another one so I'll connect this one to my LAN I create a LAN I create a switch and connect it to my uh, virtual switch in my VMware obsession then this one I will connect this one I will bridge this one with my local network
I have to go in and re re reload the fresh, then click here and connect my router. Yep, thank you guys very much for uh, watching and um, thank you please I would like you to please um, if you have any problem if you have any completion that you want to uh, clarify please I want you to like to drop a comment in the comment section below please um, do well to um, please subscribe to my channel and uh, click the uh, bell icon to know when I will drop a new video and also like and share you might equally use this media to help somebody who might need this in order to uh, deviate himself from one problem or the other thank you very much and wait till you will get a next notification on my next dropout thank you very much peace